Hi everybody, Tam here. Welcome to my channel. So I have this cute little dolly here. She's been in this outfit for a while and I'm going to change her out. She is one of my Mori style dolls that I'm going to keep as a Mori doll. And she is wearing a super cute outfit. This I purchased from Beth Ramston's shop. But she's had it on for a while. I was uh, I had her dressed up like this as, I believe, part of a collab that I did, if I remember correctly. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's time for her to change. Um, and also, I wanted to talk a little bit, give you guys a little bit of a, I guess, a warning <laughs> about uh, these matte dolls. Um, and while I'm at it, uh, before I do that, I have some other cute little dollies here. Here is um, Star Dancer. I think I'm going to change. I've got another uh, scalp that I think I'm going to switch out, even though she looks gorgeous in this. And um, here's another doll. This is a, a new fakey doll that I got that I really like. I'm getting ready to take some photos of her in this uh, little dress. I've made a couple of these um, jellyfish fabric dresses. And I'm going to be popping them up in my shop. And they have these cute little um, charms. And I'm trying to remember what I named her. I named her something cool and now I can't remember the name. <laughs> but I do like this little fakey doll. She's got a nice light tan skin tone kind of similar okay um she is shiny and she is shiny which tends to be the case for uh most Blythe dolls but you can also purchase the fake dolls matte faced which is cool but <clears throat> um this doll i had set aside uh for quite some time in my dolly bin i have um i when I purchase, when I find dolls at a good price, I'm, you know, always scouring um, on AliExpress for them, the fake dolls. And, and to me, they are fake, clone, whatever. The non-stock dolls, let's put it that way. Dolls that I'm going to do stuff with, um, I still want to customize this doll. And I had set her aside with the idea that I would customize her and turn her into a Mori girl. And I mean, like, customizing, like, you know... Um, maybe change out some eye chips, paint her, paint her, you know, her eyelids, that kind of thing. So I had her, uh, in her, you know, original packaging and everything, um, set aside. And honestly, she was there probably for a good year or two. And I didn't necessarily forget about her, but I didn't have time, you know, to do what I wanted to do with her. So I just let her be. So then came this time for us, for me to do this collab and, um, you know, and I thought, oh, definitely, I know, I remember that Mori Girl doll. I'm going to pull her out, and she's going to be the doll I use for this collab. Again, I was running low on time, so, you know, I did not have time to customize her or really make anything for her. I take her out, I start to undress her, and then I discover this. Um, yeah, look at that. It's discolored, okay? So these dolls, when they come new, they typically have plastic around here and around their back plate. And I had left the plastic on. Now, I live in Florida, so it is humid. Um, but honestly, you know, we run our air conditioner pretty much 24-7. <laughs> okay. uh, we rarely open the house up, so... Because it's, it's hot in Florida. Um, and, yeah... Look at that. So I have heard before of problems with matte face dolls like this. Um, even some of the stock dolls, there's a, there's a small group of stock dolls that come with matte faces. And I'd heard that um, problems with them as far as becoming sticky, like having a sticky, you know, the, the surface becoming sticky. Hers is not sticky. This is not sticky. It wasn't when I took off the plastic or anything like that. But yeah, look at that. So I, I covered it up with this headband. <laughs> Yay. And I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. I, I could maybe maybe give her some bangs, but I am terrible at, at cutting doll hair. I mean, I, I do not have the, the skills or the guts, I guess, and I would hate to ruin. I mean, I love this dark green hair on this doll. Um... So, yeah. <laughs> so this is just a warning. If you have any of these matte dolls 
and you have them set aside like I did, thinking, oh, someday I'll customize her or whatever, get that plastic off, folks. Get it off. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, she's fine. She's in great shape. So, you know, not a problem as far as anything else is going on. But, um, yeah, that is a shame. And there's really, I mean, short of uh, basically sanding the whole face, um, which would then see it's a discoloration. So, I mean, that would take, and then she wouldn't be, she wouldn't be tan anymore <laughs> if I did that. I would remove the color, the skin tone that I really like. So, I mean, that's one of the things I like about her. So, anywho, um, yeah, so this is sort of a combination dolly dress up and uh, warning 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 of, of this possibly happening to you all right so what am I going to change her into um, and of course dolly nudity is coming uh, let me just go ahead and take her all off take all this off of her and then show you the outfit that I'm gonna put on her and she's pretty much I haven't done anything else with her yet I mean someday I want to do something but I thought you know what I'm just gonna ahead and take her out and um, start you know dressing her and she's hanging out on the doll shelf with some other dolls here she goes yeah love I love her skin tone so I don't want to you know remove everything and try to make it the same color um, yeah like I said if you got any ideas let me know so today what I'm going to change her into I'm going to change her into this dress this is a dress I made a while back it's got a little bit of lace trim. It's got uh, some, I hand stitched a little bit of lace, a lace collar there. So I'm gonna be putting that on her. And I, I'm gonna put this little petticoat. This was actually stock, I believe it was from one of the Alice dolls that I ended up selling. <laughs> okay. And then these cute little um, boots. These came on a doll that, um, a customized doll I purchased. And I'm gonna put some shoes or some socks. These are some little white socks on there. And then I think I might bring this purse back over. This purse is actually from um, Surrey Sustainable. And I think I'm gonna keep it with her. Um, we'll, we'll see, let me see what everything looks like together here. But, and I'll just do a little chitty chat. She doesn't have any skivvies. Maybe I give her some underwear. Yeah, I think she needs some underwear. Hold on. So, yeah, we got some undies in here. What what to put on her? Something kind of basic because I'll put these on. These are just some real simple basic nylon ones. I don't know. Are these ones I made? I don't know. No, I don't think I made these. But, yeah, she, she needs some underwear. She needs some undies. So yeah, she is a cute doll, and you know I like I like the stock dolls and I like the non-stock dolls. I like them both. Um, I have way more stock dolls than um, non-stock dolls, but I like to do stuff with all of them. Um, but the non-stock dolls, I feel like I'm a little bit more free to do things with them and I don't have to worry about damaging them and uh, making them less valuable because uh, you know a lot of the real stock dolls do the stock dolls do increase in value not all and of course you still have to find a buyer so just because a doll is <clears throat> worth more than you bought her if you can't find anybody to buy her then you know you whoa okay my uh star dancer was getting ready to just dive over there um if you can't find anybody to buy her then it doesn't really matter if she's worth more or not right oh yeah that looks really cute i like that see that poofiness it has this is cute yeah yeah i like it i like it adorbs yeah I like for the Mori girls, I like the longer skirts. I think that, you know, if they were 
out in the forest, they would, ha they would have fairly long skirts, I feel like, because, and it just has, I don't know, a longer skirt to me has more of a boho vibe to it, generally speaking. Um, I do like short skirts on some of them. It just depends on the dress. So, all right, so I'm going to get these on off camera. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I couldn't get those shoes on with those socks, so she's going with no socks. But I think they're really cute. I like the color with this. I just, happy accident there. Now, as far as her head, <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can maybe use a hat on her to cover that. Um, this, oh, this isn't really going to work. I, I thought there was some pink in there. There's not. I'm just curious if it, if it fits her, though. Let's see. She's got a lot of hair. Is it, is it going this way? I'm trying to remember. how. Is it front? So one of the things I like about doll collecting and doing stuff with my dolls is, you know, sometimes I just... It's a, it's a great de-stressor for me. Um, my job as a teacher can be quite stressful sometimes. <laughs> um, I like my job. Um, sometimes I love my job, but especially these days, <laughs> I had a meeting recently where we talked about AI in the classroom and it was very disheartening. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I think this is going to work. So, so it's nice to be able to come in on the weekends or the evenings and, um, just do something silly like change the clothes on a doll, <laughs> move my dolls around on their shelves, sew for a doll. Um, yeah, it, it makes me feel better. So, makes me feel like all is not lost. I, I think that will work on her. See, she's such a cute doll. I just, this color of hair with her um, skin tone, just, I really, really like. Um, and, and the dark eye, eye shadow. I mean, I think they did a good job on the face up. Uh, like I said, I could see, I would like to in the future change out some eye chips, paint her lids. Um, you know, I don't know. Now that she has this on her, I don't know how much effort I will put into her for that, but it's still a possibility. Yeah. All right, so hold on. Um, I'm going to finish putting her all together, just comb her hair out, get her on a stand, maybe put this back on her or find a different purse and take a few pictures at the end, uh, maybe add a little bit of music. <laughs> all right. Um, thank you guys for spending a little dolly time with me. The doll community is very important to me, and I really appreciate all the support I've gotten over the years and um, the friendships I've made. It, it does mean a lot to me, and um, I think sometimes I don't say that enough in my videos. I don't, I don't, you know, I just come on and talk about what I want to talk about and then move on. So, um, yeah, so let's just, I'm just reflecting a little bit today. Um, as usual, please give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And, yeah, have a wonderful Dolly Day. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Bye-bye.